in this case, did you miss us? That's right. I am here a special guest star on this episode, XOXO Fallon. Here for you, the people with a special edition of I'm Just Saying. But this time, I can't tell you how much I was looking forward to this. <laughs> Bean Boozled. That's right. Due to the success of the video that's on her channel, we are going to ask each other 10 questions. Hopefully that we know them. If not, we take and spin the little thingy where it's either something sweet, like a juicy pear, or something rotten, like rotten milk or eggs. The bathroom is right over there. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, this should be interesting. We'll start off with something easy, I feel. We'll ask each other the same question, but we each get to pick the question. So it'll basically be like five and five. Ten questions. Here we go. You ready? I'm nervous, but yes. You got anything to say to your people? Hello. Hello, S. Hello, S. All right. Can't tell you how excited, how much I love, love, love this game. <laughs> All right. It's not easy. Who is the biggest celebrity that I have met? The biggest celebrity that you have mm -hmm. met. Who do I feel is the biggest celebrity that I have met? Stan Lee. That is correct. <laughs> that is I almost correct. said Allison Mack, but then I remembered you met Stan Lee. He trumps, even though I don't care if she's in the news. I still love her from Smallville. Um, but yes, yeah, Stan Lee, we had a talk. He pulled me off to the side after the photo thing, asked me about for you know, future Marvel movies. So, you know, he was definitely the biggest deal that I have met. Your turn. Who is the biggest celebrity that I have met? I'm trying to think of who. Besides me. Besides you. Steffi Meyer. Does Jimmy Fallon count? I, I gave him a high five. If that's your answer. No, I didn't technically meet him. It was just a running high five. So you're trying to trick me right off the bat? <laughs> Stephanie Meyer probably is the biggest that I've met. All right. So we each, I'll, we'll each give you that. I'll give you that. You get to find a question and pick a question. All right. Gosh, your iPad is so heavy. <sighs> oh, okay. This is first time seeing it, folks. For yeah, the spontaneity. I haven't seen any of For them. you. There's a hundred questions to pick from. Imagine the suspense. <laughs> what is your favorite sport in the Winter Olympics? Or what is my favorite? My bad, sorry. <laughs> what is my favorite? The winter. Winter Olympics. Snow skiing. No. What? What is it? Snowboarding. Sean White all the way. That's the same thing. No, it's not. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. That is not the same thing. Oh, that's crap. I get to... <laughs> It's either going to be lime or lawn clippings. Yay! Hey. Yay! Here we go. Here we go. Are you sure they weren't the same team? I'm 100% positive. It's a lime. Woo! You got lucky. All right, watch. My favorite sport in the Winter Olympics. Snow skiing. <laughs> that 
That was easy. <laughs> she probably asked different questions. Uh. We're going to do that now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, that's not a good one. This is why we should have had these picked out. Prior this is spontaneity! To... Got it. Okay. If I could only have one, would I rather be smart? Or happy. Smart. Eh! Spin the wheel. Oh yeah! Oh gosh. Chocolate pudding or canned dog food? Oh yeah! This went well for me last time, so I'm hoping again. Oh God, it's canned dog food. Oh! Oh my. Oh God, I can smell it. Remember the bathroom is within running distance. Oh, pew! You okay? <laughs> oh God! <laughs> we might have to reduce the number of questions. I'm trying not to gag. Okay. Oh. oh what is the last book I read? <laughs> um Five Nights at Freddy's. All right, I'll give it to yes! you. Yes! I'm kind of reading two books, right? Yes! Son of a biscuit! Oh, yeah! <coughs> I should have brought a drink. <coughs> okay. Hmm. No. That's a toughie. Non-horror movie. Okay. No, because you don't know that horror movie. It, it really easy win, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'm saying it'd be an easy win for you, right? Oh yeah. Thank you. You really looking forward to that M M or jelly bean. Alright. What where'd it go? I tried to tell him to prepare beforehand. Oh shit! And he didn't do it. So I'm going to alter this question. This is prepared. Spontaneity. All right. What would be harder for me to give up? Coca-Cola. Or TV. TV. <laughs> that is correct. I will give it to you. Okay. So how was your day? Doing okay, I hope. Did 
describe my own personal hell? Social anxiety. Being in the middle of a crowd of people without me there to protect you with no way out. That seems bad, but no. I can think of way worse. Being stuck doing a toosie with no TP, <laughs> no shower curtain, and nothing to wipe the tush. No. Oh. That's pretty bad, but no. Going to Pratillo's and ordering a beef and cheddar croissant and getting home and finding out all you have is the croissant. Buying a thing of ajou sauce and putting it around the computer and spilling said ajou on computer, thereby forfeiting said electronic device. Or maybe that's just my own personal hell. That's your personal hell, and I'm tired of hearing about it. Frankly, do you want to know what my personal hell is? Yes. To be in the ocean at night surrounded by sharks. Meg. That's all I'm that saying. That is terrifying. Mine was kind of like that then. Well, my answer, because it was basically you being stuck in the middle of something, surrounded by stuff, and me not being deal. Sharks and people are different things. <laughs> oh, good. It's one of my favorites. Buttered popcorn or rotten eggs. Oh boy, how I have missed this one. I'm guessing it's this one. Here we go. I <laughs> hate this game. Hey, butter popcorn. We're okay. Oh man. Oh yeah. <laughs> I've had two good ones. I've had one crap. Oh, yeah. Uh. Well, then. All right. Here we go. And you should notice I'm giving you an easy one so you don't have to eat chocolate doo-doo. What was my first CD? And all you can do is all you have to do is name me the artist. I'll give that to you. Your first CD. My very first compact disc. Uh we may have our folks. Hang on, I'm thinking of the song. We may have her. Four, three, two. Okay, okay. Because it's a woman, isn't it? It's a group. With a, yes. Okay, I, and I feel I feel horrible because I know she it's probably that song knows that it. I hate, isn't it? It is. She knows it. And because I'm a good no, guy, I'll do it. I'll no, because you had it. Be you had you had it. I know. I've been thinking about this. The game. What is it? What is the name of the song? I want it noted for the record. I tried to give it to hey, her. You have to be fair. Four non blondes. I was fair. Four non blondes. What is the song called? What's up? God, I hate that song. I hate it so much. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Simma down for that. She has to do the joke. I was gonna let her go. Well, you gotta be fair. I was being I fair. Think, I knew. I was what, giving you a I lifeline like Regis used to song do. Song that always comes on the radio. <clears throat> And I'm plugging my ears. I hate that song. Hey, yeah, yeah. What's going on? All right, here we go. It's on the line, so you forget to pick. Uh, fine, then I pick berry blue or toothpaste. 
Hopefully it's the most rotten toothpaste. I don't have very many of those. Okay. There's toothpaste. Yeah, at least your breath smells better after it's eating the dog food. It's not that bad though. Okay. Your turn. Question four. Okay. Okay. I don't even know the answer to that one of mine. So. Hey, what's going on? Okay. What kind of phone was my first cell phone? <laughs> hmm. Just gonna go ahead and pick this up. <laughs> a flip phone. No. A Nokia 4380. No. A Nokia 2720. No. Zach Morris phone. No. A Qualcomm. Sorry, what? A Qualcomm. A Koalacom? Qual. Qualcomm. Qualcomm. What the heck is that? It was a phone. Did it work? <laughs> yes. Never knew of that. <sighs> this. I'm just going to say is the one that made me run to the bathroom last time. <laughs> Caramel corn or moldy cheese? Ooh. Well, you've been lucky this far, so. Right, which I'm means. Sure it's caramel corn, but fate, you don't like that either. You fate like, you is like catching caramel. up. Fate is catching up, I could tell. That's caramel corn. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Woo! Four for four. <laughs> One more to go. <laughs> Dang it. Uh -uh, my question. Treat her. Ooh, this is oh man. But see, I can I could tell you're gonna because I have lots of them. Okay. Now I'm gonna think of three answers because I know you because I know what. So if you get any of them, that's okay. Because it's okay. asking for one song, but I know you know me. Okay. If I could pick. Any theme song to walk into a room with, what would it be? There's two in my mind. Okay. You said I have three, so I'm going to say 90210. That's a good one, but that's not one. That's not the answer, I should say. Smallville? That's not the answer. What? Then what else? People's Court! Imagine how cool that would be. But nah, nah. You walk into a room and the theme court's playing. I told you I played that when I went to jury duty. Yours are better though, so let me pick a different one. <laughs> what? Hush! I got it wrong. Yeah, but your answers were better. Oh, here we go. This has got big guy all over it. Okay, if I only had to eat one feed from McDonald's for every meal for a week straight, what would I choose? The McRib. That is correct. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Where is it? One more? Yeah, we, we can do two more. Okay. <laughs> I 
Just for the record, did you break wind or did you read a question? <laughs> if I ever pooped in my, my, my pants. <laughs> I am going to go. Not including when I was a baby. <laughs> I'm going to go with a yes. Judges? <laughs> Judges? Yes. Decker, question back. That's all we're going to say about the topic. <laughs> all right, last questions. So far, this has been good for me, not so much for dog food face. It actually kind of ties in with the food you had to eat earlier. Okay. What two languages does also your favorite thing to do that you did earlier in your life <laughs> within your britches? What two languages would I love to be fluent in besides English? <clears throat> German. Um, sorry. I'll give you two more guesses. Best out of three. Spanish. That's one. Because I love their foods, yours plus Chinese. Chinese? Yes. They have delicious food. There we go. Oh, no! No, you did that one early. Do a different one. Oh God. Tutti Fruity or Stinky Socks? This is it. This is her last one. Will she get a plus or a pew? Is this it? Yeah. <clears throat> oh gosh. Is it a goodie or is it a pewy? A Stinky Socks. Ow! Breathe. Trying not to gag. So that's going to be a wrap for this week's episode. This went so well for you. She's forgetting, though, that I still have to answer one of her questions. I can't do that to her. <laughs> I spit it out. All right. So she gets one more question, and I get to spin the dinghy. I can't do that to her. This is it. Please be good to me. If money was, was no object, where in the world would I choose to live? <laughs> See, this is a Ah, uh, Alaska. Is that it? I have oh, yeah. Alaska or Seattle. Seattle. I know my baby. 
and on my baby. So, to recap, this version worked out pretty well for yours truly. Not so much for our guest star. <laughs> but that was funny either way. Don't you think so, folks? Well, we appreciate you checking in for this week's edition to see what we had to say as we play Bean Boozled. Give me a like, some love. Talk to me. Tell me what you love. Send me some money. All that good stuff. I probably won't buy any more of those jelly beans, but I'll buy something. Um, and until next time, thank you XOXO Fallon for guest starting and playing on this week's episode, uh, you know, this game. And uh, that's all. So until next time, stay frosty. Peace! <laughs>